In today's tutorial, we will add functionality to enable the user to edit a person's name and age within Swift Data database. For example, if we select Jane, it goes to another view and we can edit Jane's name or age by typing into the text field. So I just spell Jane's name a different way, say for a J, J A I N E. And just say that the age was uh, anything, 25. Click on update person. And then now you can see the name for Jane has been updated with a different spelling and a new age of 25. So this is the functionality we will be adding. The first thing we need to do is to create a new view, which is a Swift UI view. So we can create a Swift UI view or add a file in many ways. We can click on the plus sign, which I'm doing now within the pane, the left hand pane at the corner, this one here, and then we can just click on new file, select Swift UI view, click on next, because we want the user to be able to edit a person's name and age, we'll call this view edit view. Click on create. And then now we just need to add our variables. So the first variable we need to add is at state bar person person model. And then we need to create another variable called at environment dismiss. The purpose of this variable is to enable the screen to be dismissed when it's no longer needed. Next thing we need to do is to, yeah, we can delete our previews. Yeah, let's delete our previews because we're not using it in this tutorial. So the next thing we need to do is to create our computed property. And the purpose of this computed property will be to convert an int to a string. So convert the person's name, which is an integer, but convert it into a string. Bar a string 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 person dot age. And then we need to create another computed property. And the purpose of this computed property is to convert a string to an int that will be used when updating the person's age. A bar. Age binding. Binding string of 
Finding string get property which is read only so that'll be self dot get I mean self dot a string set which is the right property self dot person dot age equals int dollar sign zero question mark question mark zero so what that does it converts the age into an int but if the age does not exist it just has a default age of zero, which is here. So I think we can delete one of the brackets. Cannot find get in scope. So this bar age binding string binding string get colon it's got the sets. I'm just looking for the error at the moment. Um, can't find the error. I know what it is. On line 21, that should be cell and not get just compile it now to make sure yeah that's correct so the next thing we need to do now is to add a navigation view and a form to our view On line 27, just add the following navigation navigation view form. The form has a section. Header text. The caption for the section called personal information. The text field will be bound to the person's name, dollar sign, person's name. dot padding dot background color UI color
Dot corner radius. Nine dot font system size twenty four weight dot bold design default and then we do a similar thing for the age section and text field so we can just copy what we've done here and then we just paste it as a new section Call this section, let's call it age. For the text field, it's called age. And we want to bind to age binding. And everything else. And stay the same. And then another section for the button to enable the user to perform an update to the database to Swift Data. Person dot name is equal to person dot name person dot age is equal to int open brackets age binding dot wrap value Else, if the age doesn't exist, just a sign of zero. As I said last week, this should really be within a view model, this logic. And the caption of the button will be called update person. And then the foreground color is white font dot headline dot frame max width dot infinity dot padding dot background background color dot blue dot corner radius 10 and then after line 60 we just add dot navigation title is edit person so now let's run it to see if it works or not
So it's now compiled, so I'll just click on John and we should see the records in the view. It seems like we missed something out. It must be to do with the content view. So let's stop the application. And then go within the content view. But it's not navigating to edit view. So where is it? Oh, that's why. Because last week when we were doing a tutorial, we included the empty view to be displayed when the, when the user clicks on a record to be edited. So that should have edit view. And we need to pass in the parameter person which is the object instance that we want to edit so just type in edit view person person now when it navigates we should see the attributes of the person that we want to edit. I'll just rerun it. Just compiling at the moment. Still compiling, taking a bit of time. Still compiling. Oh, it's working now. So now I'll click on John to edit John's name and age. I edit John's name, so I'll just spell it a different way. I'll just spell it as J O N. Now the simulator is a bit slow. And the simulator taking a bit of time. J Try again J It's a simulator Try again J O N J O on the device it works much better than this. J O N um there's something's wrong with X codes. I just changed John's name to J-O-N and then the age to 18. Click on update. It 
it should have navigated, it did update, but it should have navigated straight away when I click on update. So you must have missed out something else. On the edit view. Oh, missed out, dismiss. On the edit view. On lines 50, just type in dismiss. I'll just rerun it. Just compiling at the moment. Let's go, it's working really slowly. Now it's loaded. So let's try to update John again. Instead of using the word, I mean the name John, I just use Jim. J I M. And then I'll just update the age. Just put 20. Click on update person. As you can see, the update was successful because before it had John there as the name and it was a different age as well and we can also delete the records if we no longer need them and it's all deleted and manipulated using coil i mean using swift data